Hello and welcome back. So in this tutorial we're looking at quantifiers. So even though we already looked at these two, I simply forgot to mention that these are called quantifiers. They match a range. Um, they repeat, let me say that, they repeat a range or a selection of characters to match. So this one repeats zero or more. Uh, if a character exists zero or more times, this one, the character must exist at least once or more. But this one here is for zero or once. So this essentially makes a character optional or a search optional. So let's look at how we can go about using this question mark here. We will cover these as well in a few examples. So let's start with this one. So let's say I have uh, a word like color and color like this. So obviously the U here is optional if I want to match both of these. So how can we do this? So if I copy this and we go to our regex here, regex101.com, you will see that uh, I can type color in full like this and then on the U there I can put a question mark. So the question mark comes after the optional character here. So as you can see now, it has matched both of them. So there's match here for color and match for the other one as well. So this works for words like labor and uh, labor like this in this in a similar manner. So labor like that, and we put a question mark there and we match both of those. Okay, so easy enough. But then there are different uh, matches we can do with this. Let's say for example we have this kind of thing here. So let me copy this and let me put that here. So we have July here. July is common on all of these. So let's add that July as part of it. And then we obviously have a space there like that. So we add the space. And then even though we are not matching this one anymore, but then we have numbers here. So we have 29 and then we have the th there like so so this is a full match here but these ones are not matched at all so how can we do it so that we include these two where well, we can make several um, optional sections here so for example this whole thing here can be optional by putting it inside brackets like that and then we put a question mark there then this becomes a uh, optional okay now of course this 29th can be optional as well by just putting that aside and then doing this like so and then we have that optional situation there so this section there is optional that is optional and this is valid so i like this we end up matching all of them as you can see here so we've made multiple selections here. So you can match several things like this in this manner. So let's try and match um, a same thing with this here, for example. So let me copy this. Let's come here. So what we can do here is look for what's common to all these words. And here it's DEC for December like that. But then this other part here is optional. So from here, I can put this in brackets like that and put a question mark. So as you can see now, I have matched these down here. But then if I want, I can match a digit. So I'll do slash D like so. But then there's a space there if I want to do that. So space digit. But all this can be optional as well. Let me do that. Put that space there make that optional as well like that and then we can also make the th optional as well so digit there uh, maybe since the number is well known we can just put 24 there like that without the slash so we have the 24 there and uh, we get these matches like this so that's how you can do that there are several ways of doing these things but uh, this is just to give you an idea 
So let's try and use the other quantifiers as well. So let's say we want to match uh, this one here. So I'll copy this and let's go back here again. So here what we have, uh, using what we've learned so far, is we have, uh, maybe this is a little bit complex before we get to this, let me go to, um, let me see if I have one that has, no, actually, that's it. So no problem, let's deal with this. So what we have here is we have two common numbers, uh, letters here in between. Uh, let's see what we can do. So at the beginning, we can either match R, L, B, C, or O, right? So to match different uh, types of letters, we can all put them inside a range as we have learned so far. So we can say R, L, B, C, or O if we want, and then close them inside a bracket. So the next things that we want to add are two O's like that. So as you can see here, we we are creating this pattern, two O's there. It must start with one of these. Those are optional. And then we put two O's there, and then we have a K at the very end. So as you can see, we have, uh, we have successfully matched these. But here, because we have two repeating numbers here, we can use a quantifier. We can use a plus sign, which will make that possible. Or we can use a star like that, which will also make that possible. But this will also match something like OK, like that, because it does start with one of these, and then this star makes the selection optional, or zero or more times, and then there's a K there. So it's entirely up to you how you want to do this. Let's see another example here. Let's go to book. Let's see this one. Okay, so the first thing to do as usual is to look for what is common and begin with that. So at the beginning here we have B and L or R. So let's put a B, L, R inside that range like so. So we are matching everything from the beginning. But then here we have uh, O, like here, uh, O, K, like that. This, uh, a, a wide range of O. So let's add, because looking at this here, this one doesn't have O's, but this one does. The rest of them actually do have. So I think this one makes it optional but then they have multiple O's on some of these. So it's better to, instead of using the question mark, because I can do this, put an O and put a question mark like that, which will move us forward. But what I can do is put a star, or an O and a star there like that, which makes the O optional like this. And then I can put a K at the very end, like so. All right, so let's look at, uh, a few more examples, maybe one. Let's go back to here. Let's see how we can go about matching this. So let me put these here like that. So the common thing here is file like that. Okay, so we have file, but then we have a, a list of digits here. So here I can put uh, the slash D like that. But then the D here could have one or more. Actually, it's not one or more, it's zero or more because there's none here. So the best quantifier to use there is a star like that. So we have one that has no digits. This one has digits. And then finally, at the end, we can put dot uh, PHP like so. Okay. But the dot is a special character, so you have to escape it like that. Otherwise, it means something else, which I don't think we have looked at, but we will very soon. So that's how you can match this selection right here. So hopefully this has given you an idea of uh, how to use these quantifiers here to extend your selection and to make other parts of a selection optional with zero or more, like these two, 
or with one or more to repeat more than one selection here. So keep in mind that you can use this to uh, extend ranges of data. Like for example, if you had, let's say that we had numbers like this, and then we had letters like that, and yeah, maybe something like this. So to match this kind of thing, you could put uh, a range from, let's say, uh, zero to nine here, and then you can extend it with the plus sign here, and then you can put another range with uh, A to Z, like so, and then put the plus sign there as well, and then put another range from zero to nine, and put a plus sign there. Nothing stopping you from doing this. And also, if you had a repeated pattern like this one down here, where the letters are not present here, let's say, let's say you had a uh, maybe a space or something else here in between, or just numbers like this, because this will not match because it needs to have the letters in between according to that. Let me zoom out a bit so we can see the matching here. So only one match here. But what we can do instead of a plus here, we can put the star, which effectively makes this middle section optional because this will match zero or more characters of that range. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how you can do these types of matching. Uh, we'll look at more in the next video.